Cases cited include delays in court proceedings involving PWDs, unfavorable structures in government institutions where convenient provisions for the PWDs are not given, considering them like any other person without disabilities. Nodipu is demanding the government to sufficiently staff courts of law with judges aware of the situations of the PWDs so that their cases are not dropped off in the case backlog, something which denies them justice or delays their fundamental human rights. Just imagine if you're, to, you're be behind the docks or you're, behind, you're testifying or you're, and, and you're, you're crawling. Will you, be, will you be seen? So the structure of the court system itself is a little bit complicated. Most of them don't have, don't hire sign language interpreters. So interpreters. So if you're deaf, then that means you either find your own interpreter and pay that person, or you may not be able to actually access court-related information. Sengova stresses that there is backlog in the courts of law with cases of PWDs that makes it difficult for them to get justice as cases pile over and over. This makes it hard for fast-tracking the trials of suspects implicated in violation of rights of the PWDs. Some people come to town to courts in taxis and if you've seen how difficult it is for some people to access public transport. So many taxis don't want necessarily to transport someone with a disability. And then if you have to go back and forth to court simply because of these, the, because of the backlog-related challenges, what we are asking for here is that uh, probably there should be a mechanism, there should be affirmative action when they are looking at these cases. Maybe prioritize those cases or involving people who find it very difficult to even access court premises on the same basis with everyone else. Jazira Esther, Programs Manager, National Union of Disabled Persons of Uganda, New Depo, re-echoed the need by the Judicial Service Commission to review the appointment of judges by putting in mind that specialists in interpretations for the PWDs in courts of law is catered for. Those are still having that derogatory language that is not favorable to persons with disabilities. And the reason why we had to carry out this study to see how, what, are the, what are the gaps in the laws and how best should we advocate? How do the court procedures affect access to justice for persons with disabilities? And want to see that if these are addressed, then we are going to see even the backlog for persons with disabilities reducing. But as we speak now, nothing is happening.